Welcome to a lesson on the basic vocabulary of algebraic expressions. We'll begin by defining terms and constant term. Terms are parts of an algebraic expression separated by addition or subtraction symbols, and the terms are going to be positive when we have addition, and the terms are going to be negative when we have subtraction. The constant term is a term or number with no variable factors, a term whose value never changes. So for example one, we're given the algebraic expression four x to the fifth plus three x to the fourth minus twenty-two x squared minus x plus seventeen. We're first asked to list the terms, and again those are the parts separated by addition or subtraction. So notice how we have one, two, three, four, five terms, where the first term is four x to the fifth, and we'll separate the terms with commas. The second term, because we have plus three x to the fourth, is positive three x to the fourth. Notice how for the third term we have minus twenty-two x squared. Remember minus twenty-two x squared is equivalent to plus negative twenty-two x squared. So because of the subtraction here, the third term is going to be negative twenty-two x squared. And notice how next we have minus x, which is equivalent to plus negative x. So again, because of the subtraction, this fourth term is negative x. And the fifth term, because we have plus seventeen, is positive seventeen. Part b, we're asked to identify the constant term. That's the term with no variable factors, which we can see is this last term here, positive seventeen. Now let's define factors and coefficient. Factors are numbers or variables that are multiplied together, and a coefficient is the number that multiplies the variable. So here we're given four different terms, and we're asked to list the factors as well as identify the coefficient. Well, negative four m means negative four times m, so we have two factors. The two factors are negative four and m. And we'll separate the factors with commas. The coefficient, again, is the number multiplying the variable, so our coefficient is negative four. Notice the next term is negative x. To help us identify the factors and the coefficient, we can think of negative x as negative one times x. So our factors would be negative one and x, and the coefficient would be negative one. One half bh means one half times b times h. Notice here we have three factors. We have a factor of one half, we have a factor of b, and we have a factor of h. And the coefficient, again, is a number multiplying the variable of variables, so the coefficient is one half. Notice our last term, we have two r divided by five, or two r over five. This is equivalent to two fifths times r, so again we have two factors. The factors are two fifths and r, and the coefficient is two fifths. And now let's take a look at our last example. We're asked to consider the algebraic expression five y to the fourth minus eight y cubed plus y squared minus y divided by four minus seven. We first ask to determine how many terms there are Remember the terms are the parts separated by addition or subtraction. Notice there are one, two, three, four, five terms. Next we have to identify the constant term. That's the term with no variable factors. That's the term on the end here. And because we have minus seven, the constant term is negative seven. Next we have to identify the coefficient of the first term. Notice how the first term is five y to the fourth, which means five times y to the fourth, and the coefficient is the number that multiplies the variable part, and therefore the coefficient here is five. Next we're asked to determine the coefficient of the second term. Notice how here we have minus eight y to the third, and therefore the second term is negative eight y to the third, which means negative eight times y to the third, and therefore the coefficient is negative eight. E, what is the coefficient of the third term? 
Notice how here we have plus y squared, and therefore the third term is positive y squared, which is equal to one times y squared, and therefore the coefficient is positive one. And finally f, we're asked to list the factors of the fourth term. Notice how here we have minus y over four, so the fourth term would be negative y over four. Looking at this y here, we can include a factor of one. y is the same as one times y, so we can write this term as negative one-fourth times y. Notice in this form, we can easily identify the two factors. We have a factor of negative one-fourth, and we have a factor of y. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.